Now to campaign 2018 and in the midterm elections, Florida is once again a critical battleground. Democrat Bill Nelson faces a challenge from Republican Governor Rick Scott in one of the most expensive and closely watched Senate races in the country. CBS 4's Kenneth Craig reports from the campaign trail in Orlando. Governor Rick Scott rolled up his sleeves, visiting areas of the Florida panhandle still recovering from Hurricane Michael. Anybody like pizza? I love pizza. Yeah. But even off the campaign trail, he's making his case to voters. Where do you see you and Senator Nelson differing the most? I work and he doesn't. Scott is the Republican candidate yes. for U.S. Senate, putting three-term Democrat Bill Nelson in the fight of his political life. There's nothing to run on. He can't say he's done anything on education. He can't say he's done anything on environment. The environment is a key issue in this race as toxic algae kills marine life on both coasts. What do we have? Red tide and green algae. Senator Nelson blames the governor's policies. I've supported the environment. Contrast that to Rick Scott eviscerating the environmental agencies. The race is being described as a battle for the soul of America, which is exactly how former Vice President Joe Biden described it at a campaign rally here in Orlando. Biden told the crowd to re-elect Nelson and reset the country's moral compass. Restore this country to its rightful place. As a professor and author, Rick Fogelsong has followed the state's cliffhanger elections for decades. This race is important not just for Florida, but obviously for the nation in so far as the Democrats, if they win here and pick up a few other states, could control the Senate. With the candidates just a few points apart in the polls, the race is likely to come down to the wire on November 6th. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Orlando.